Hello and welcome to DeBuzz, your microblog built on the Hive blockchain. Today we're going to talk about how to sign up for a new Hive account using the onboard Hive system. We'll be installing the Hive keychain app on a Chrome or Brave browser, setting up an account, and logging in. Let's get started. When you arrive on HiveOnboard.com, you'll see a screen like this. Go to click Create an Account. When you click Create an Account, you'll be prompted to install the Hive Keychain Browser extension. We recommend that you do this as it makes logging in much easier in the future. To install the Hive Keychain Browser extension, just click the Install Keychain button. You'll be brought to the Chrome Web Store where you can install this extension on your Chrome browser or Brave browser. Click Add to Chrome and you'll get the pop-up notification. Just click Add Extension. After you've added it to Chrome, it'll be along your top bar underneath the little puzzle icon piece. If you click that, you'll be able to drop it down and then open it up. When you open it up, it'll ask you to first install a new master password. This is just a password for your local Chrome browser and nothing to do with the Hive blockchain. This is a password to unlock your local account. So choose a password that you remember. At this point, you should be all set to close out of this window for now. Return back to the Hive onboard page by switching to its tab, and then reload the page. You'll notice that now it has said the Hive keychain browser extension is detected. That's great. Next step is to generate a username. The username you select will be yours for the life of the account, so be sure to choose a username that you like. After you've gotten a name that you like, click the Agree to Terms of Service, and then continue. When you get to this screen, this means your account is almost ready. It's important that you keep these keys very safe. Without them, you will not be able to log into your account. If you lose your password or any of your private keys, you will not be able to log into your account or retrieve them. So download and back up this text file by clicking the Download and Backup button. When you're ready, you can click the Create Hive Account button. You'll be asked to do a verification process to make sure you are human. And it'll ask you to enter a one-time phone verification code to ensure that your number is unique. After you've entered your phone number, you'll get a pop-up screen asking you to enter your confirmation code that you should receive in an SMS message. Congratulations on making a Hive account. You've now completed the process. The next part of this process is we're going to import your keys into the Hive Keychain app. To do this, open up the text file you recently downloaded with your keys in it. Here are all your different keys. You have your username and your master password. Below it, you have your owner key, active key, which you use for transferring funds, powering up and powering down, Posting key for posting comments, votes, reblogging or following profiles, and your memo key for sending encrypted messages. In this case, we want to copy your master password key. I'm going to double click it and I'm going to copy it. Back on Chrome or Brave, I'm going to go click on the puzzle piece, open up the Hive Keychain app. I'm going to say use keys and password. Click on this. I'm going to enter my username and then I'm going to enter my private key that I just copied. Clicking on Import Keys, you'll be brought to the next page, which will say Import Successfully Your Posting, Active, and Memo Key. I'm going to save this. And now I'm successfully logged in. And now my account is added to the Hive keychain. Again, don't lose your keys. If you lose any of your keys, you will not be able to log in again. These are very important to save. Lastly, I'm going to go visit d.buzz and I'm going to say log in and I'm going to say log in with the Hive keychain. Click the little checkbox. I'm going to enter my username and submit. You'll get a pop-up window asking you to confirm that you do want to enter in with this particular username. Click confirm. And like that, you'll be logged in to DBuzz with a brand new account to start posting. Thank you for watching and enjoy your experience on D.Buzz.